Hi, I'm Joel Montgomery, and this video is to give you a background on the selection of Calvary Episcopal Church Batavia's new website and um, WordPress website theme. Brenda Schroeder and I started looking at website themes for WordPress back in February of 2016, and I had gone ahead and registered a couple of additional websites. Most Episcopal churches in the U.S. use .org as the extension, and as of this year there is a new .church extension. And the website we were using in 2015, and still are until we switch, is a .com, which is inappropriate because we're a 50c3 nonprofit organization, so we should be using either .org or .church. So we've opted to use .church. Then um, Brenda had been looking at a program called themeforest.net, and we explored church themes. The theme forest is part of the Envato market, and we looked at several themes, and what you're seeing here is um, the first page. I've gone ahead. I have an account, but we're going to go to the downloads. And these are the products that I have purchased for uh, Calvary Episcopal Church so far. This is the Church Suite Responsive WordPress theme. And then within that, we use Visual Composer. And they recommended that we provide or we buy our own so that we'll get the updates it has a year of support. We still have. This is being recorded on the um, 3rd of September 2016, and we still have six months of support remaining for Church Suite. And we just got the Essential Grid plugin, uh, and that we have a year of support for. And we'll talk about that later on. We have done this. We had one of um, Envato Market's installers through Envato Studio install our theme in the demo pages. And that was $50 plus we paid him an additional $40 to add in two other plugins to make it more effective. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the theme. And this theme cost us $59 plus with a year's support it made it 70 so we're going to go here, and there are four different versions. Uh, we're going to take a look at this. I want you to see everything that there is on here, and we'll go to the live preview in a little bit. One of the things that we've identified is once it's set up for us, it's very easy to enter data and maintain it. Setting it up originally may take some extra effort, more than the money we've already got invested in it. But you have a variety of things as you're beginning to see. And a lot of this will depend on our own graphics. There's a cause manager, there are the grids. It's well documented, and there's some key features. Ultra responsive retina ready. In other words, this thing will go to any device. Visual composer, and we have the new ones. There's some other things in there. We did pay for SEO optimizer. There's some icon fonts, typewriter fonts. So we have all of these things built in. variety of and this is part of the uh, part of what I am sharing with you is to see all the different things this has some of which we will need to talk to an Envato Studio developer and we've got a variety of choices that we can use those are their updates all right 
they have full documentation. Let's see where the documentation is. Well, you'll have a separate video on documentation anyway. All right, so that's what you see from this particular theme. And there is a live preview that we can look at. Web News is the official author. I've already bought it, so we don't need to have that. All right, so this is Church Suite, and we get to choose a demo. There are four unique templates, more than 50 already pre-designed pages that we can edit. Each demo and all contents can be easily imported and we have imported quite a bit but we're looking at this video just with the demos so I'm just going to share with you some of the demos by clicking on the main page Uh, in a demo, not everything will work, but you see this has events, our values, our vision, our message, our mission, rather. New here, message archive, get connected, upcoming events, calendar, latest sermon, latest news, subscribe to the newsletter, latest tweets, quick links, all of that information. Now, we're going to go down to this. The new here is going to open up a new set of pages here. This is a welcome message. This is just to share with you the things that we can have and there are four different demos so we're going to do we just looked at i'm new here here's the message archive otherwise known as the sermons i'm going to try to get that changed to homilies but i haven't been able to do that yet you can listen watch download and read more so we have a variety of those there those can be in mp3 format we have events, upcoming events, there's an events grid, so and on each of these you can go into more details on, and we have their ministries. And we're going to go back. The sermons we looked at, here's the blog, standard blog. Uh, I'm not going to go into the details. Here are their causes. Here's the grid of causes that they have. That tracks how much money has gone toward them. Here's a gallery of photos. There's a set of pages on giving with ways to give. Yeah, well, anyway, we'll get to that later. All right. That gives you an idea for that particular demo. We're going to go to the next demo, which is
packs. Let's see the packs demo. Again, we start on the home page. And there's going to be trust and solace. That is an excellent page, to my mind, anyway. All right. This is the About Us page. And we have... Sermons. Then we'll do the blog, the standard blog. Uh, it just tells you where to put it. We'll do our causes grid again. The gallery of pictures. This man, yeah, it has some. Then a page on giving. Which may be handy for our stewardship campaign and our stewardship ministry. We have ways of doing that. Part of those donations are through the WooCommerce feature of this website. Alright, so that is the PAX version. Then the next one is the Trust version. Oh no, Solus, I guess, and then Trust, right? Yeah, Solus is next. Alright. So here's Solus. It's got some really good features in Solus, too. Where to start, watch, and listen, grow in a group. Some really good information with the join us today at the bottom of every page. Watch and listen. Sermons. Grow in a group. Small groups, and then there was some large group training as well. Let's 
So you see all the things just on the home page. Then you go into the pages. And there are a variety of pages. All right. Those were pages. These are events. News and events, I guess. Well, don't worry, we'll get to the blog. We're going to go to causes now. Causes grid. Those things say how much money was generated, given, collected. You can adjust it. The photo gallery. And then opportunities to give, which are the same as we have seen in other ones. It's just taking a while to show. So that was even the remittal thing that we've seen already. All right, so that was Solus. The next one is Trust. I'm leaning more toward Trust, but we may have elements of the other ones thrown in. No, why Trust is backwards there. Recent messages, these are the sermons. You have a series of sermons and the idea of using it in a, on a mobile device. The events calendar. Believe it or not, we're going to need to have one for Christmas here pretty soon. Okay, that's the events calendar. <clears throat> then about giving. All right. And we did look at the blog earlier. Okay, now let's see. Go to I'm new. New here, words from the pastor, reading message, what to expect, life team stories. Common question, should I be baptized? What do I do when I get there? And this tells you a variety of things and a starting point. Okay. Go into About Us. My history. Our values, vision, staff. So you'll see these are similar to the other ones. In fact, the others are exactly the same. So now what I will do is go into uh, 
our website first as a user then we'll take a look as a developer or uh, uh, administ administrator so this one is one page that I've created it's an about us page for trust but it has a little bit of our history about the prayer for the mission of our parish we're looking at core values this is what our mission is and that's our staff with Father Michael Rosicci as the rector. Obviously, lots more will be added to this. Then we do have a series of events. We can go to the events calendar. All right, so it's not going to open the events calendar. I'm not sure why. It's not doing our blog. Let's see if we can go to events now. We'll go to our events grid and see if it works. No. Ah, there it comes. All right, those are the samples. That is not ours, but that's all right. Let's look at our causes grid. Nope, that's also from the samples. We have other causes that aren't showing up right now. Our gallery, we don't have anything in our gallery yet. That's from somebody else. And then the giving, we don't really have enabled yet. Um, I have more things on here than we're going to see in this view. So we're going to now go into the administrator view. And it already knows me. It probably won't have me have to sign on. That's true. So now, let me show you what is in here. We have a post. Welcome to Calvary. This is what it looks like. The things introduced by our developer have now been put under my name because I've removed his access to the site. So this is a quick welcome message talking about editing the website. Those we're getting rid of. Those are extras. I have a lot of things in trash pages and posts, but we're not going to get rid of them yet because we may be able to edit them. You'll see in a moment about, we'll look at pages for example. I'll show you something here. Now, uh, this is the page that I have started us out on. You can edit it, but you want to normally edit it with Visual Composer. So Visual Composer is going to look a little differently. We're going to see it come up, I think, for us in a minute. Yep, that's the symbol for Visual Composer. There it is. It's Visual Composer. So you can go in and make changes. That's how I created what's here. Alright, and then when you're ready to update, you click over there. 
we're not going to make any changes right now. So I'm going to close that. And what we are going to do is we're going to look at causes. All right, so wait a minute. Oh, there we are. Here are causes. Look at all the causes. The only ones I have lifted are causes meaningful for our church at the moment. So, <clears throat> do not have the pictures. We don't really have much more than the cause statements. But that's a place to start. So we have all of those Batavia causes listed already. This would be for sermons. We don't have any on the grid yet. WooCommerce, when we get to that. All right, then Homestead Michelson. So you see a lot of these things. We're just going to view this particular cause. It doesn't say much. It has a little bit of a background. All right, so those are the causes. Then let's talk about events. These are the events listed so far. The raffle, chili cook-off, annual picnic, weekend worship services. Those are the ones that are listed so far. I guess the annual picnic is the closest to being out there right now. So I was talking about an annual picnic, but we didn't put in the dates. All right. And that's all that we've done so far to start to personalize the website. We need to do more. But let me go back in here. And we have one license, and that's what that's about. Now I'm going to go to Envato Studio, which is this orange thing and I should still be signed in but if I'm not it'll get me there all right I'm in now we're going to do church suite theme and then I am going to say that I want the developers we work with to be based in the United States of America. So these are the people who are available from the USA to help us with WordPress themes, in particular Church Suite. So you can see the first one says 250, the next one's 175. This is a hundred, but I'm not sure what the sketch to WordPress means. That's 250 for theme customization. Shopify has to do with uh, e-commerce. Word process setup, plugin installation. That's similar to what we've already paid for. Theme customization for 150, and that's a three-day turnaround. Theme forest template theme customization 175. <clears throat> open cart 50 straight at three months installation that was 50 but I don't think I think we're past the $50 range now Shopify there seem to be four pages of people we can choose from and we'll have to talk with them we can send them emails I'm thinking that something along this line for around 150 that will get us into more of what we want and need 
will be important to us. Here are some more theme installations from 500 to 50, 975. So we've got choices to make. And in this case, we really want to go past the demos now. We want to get into having them get our stuff set up the way we want it. So there are 40 possible providers of this service in the USA that are familiar with Church Suite. As you can see, the variety of fees, what is that, three? So this is going to be the last page, page four. All right. $900. So we're not doing that. That varies. And then they have the international group, which can do lots more than what we've, uh, we've called for. I say anywhere. And we now have 555 of them at varying rates. So the problem we had with the first person was they were not fully functional in English. So <clears throat> that is designed to give you an idea of Church Suite and what we're doing and what we'd like to do um, for the parish. <clears throat>